Hi, this is Steve from Drum Dial. In this video, we'll show you the best way to tune your snare drum with a Drum Dial drum tuner. Start by seating the batter head and then fine tuning in a circular pattern, one lug after the next. Be sure to tune in small increments here. I don't recommend tuning much higher than 92 unless it's a marching snare with a Kevlar head. I'll be tuning this snare batter to 85. If you go past your setting by more than a couple of tick marks, detune to below your setting and then tune back up to it. And if you're only a little higher, detune directly to your setting. Always pick the tuner up to relieve tension when detuning. I like to pick the tuner up sometimes to double check my readings. I'm always on the lookout for a possible bad hoop, bearing edge, or even an old drum head that's stretched and worn out. Now if you even suspect a worn out head or are having trouble tuning with things like loose lugs or uneven tunings, be sure to check your hoops and bearing edges at your next head change. Always tune to the outside of the snare bed. This drum has a very wide bed to accommodate many snare sizes. Don't tune directly at the snare bed lug, but instead tune to the outside of the bed or in between the lugs closest to the snare bed. Tune directly in front of the other lugs just like we normally would. It's not critical here, just remember, go between the lug and bed to get your readings. I'll be tuning this snare side head to 81. 80 to 82 is recommended, but never tighten much higher than that, as it only causes these thinner snare side heads to stretch out. And keep in mind that you never want to apply palm pressure to a snare side head to seat it. The danger here is that over tensioning will damage the drum head. Always tune just to the outside of the snare bed and in between the lugs that are closest to the bed. I'll demonstrate the tension inside the snare bed by temporarily removing the snare chain. This is well under the other lug tensions. With this in mind, you can see how difficult tap tuning can be, especially if you're tap tuning a batter head right above or over the snare bed. It's best to always dampen the bottom snare side head when tap tuning the top batter. Make sure your snare wires are even and parallel to the bottom snare side drum head. You'll want to pay close attention to the placement of your snare wires because this helps to reduce unwanted snare buzz. Make sure the snare wire is evenly spaced on the snare head. In our next video, I'll test various drum head and shell depth combinations. From all of us at Drum Dial, thanks for watching.